Good morning my dears. Welcome back to our Max online class. Now we are studying the unit number 6 adding without adding. Today we are going to discuss the activities in this unit. Take your text page number 90. Okay? Now let us read the question. Magic show. There are 25 rows in the hall each row has 24 chairs how many chairs are there in all second question is the price of ticket is 20 rupees all tickets were sold how much money was collected from a row how much from 25 rows listen my dears in this question they gave the number of rows and number of chairs in each row do you know what is a row a row look here suppose this is a hall this is one row this is an another row okay these are called rows okay this is an another row this is an another row here we can see 1 2 3 four rows like that in the magic show hall we can see 25 rows and each row has 24 chairs that means in each row this is one row each row has 24 chairs like this 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 like 24 chairs in each row okay our first question is how many chairs are there in all that means how many chairs are there in this hall how many rows 25 rows how many chairs in each row 24 chairs total 25 rows totally 24 chairs in each row now we want to find the total number of chairs in that hall now we can write number of rows equal to 25 number of chairs in each row is equal to 24 so how can we find the total number of chairs yes by multiplying 25 into 24 how can we do this listen here 25 into 24 first step 4 into 5 4 into 5 20 20 we write zero here and 2 as a reminder next step is 4 into 2 4 into 2 8 8 2 10 8 8 2 okay next step is 2 into 5 2 into 5 10 we write zero here and one as reminder next step is 2 into 2 2 into 2 4 4 plus 1 5 final step is adding zero zero plus zero zero 1 plus 5 6 so the answer is 600 so we can write total number of chairs equal to 600 what is the second part of this question yes the price of ticket is 20 rupees that means a ticket cost 20 rupees all tickets were sold how many tickets how many persons can see this magic show how can we find how many chairs are in this hall yes 600 chairs so 600 persons can see magic show at a time okay 600 perude chair aanu ullathu adu kondu oru samayam etra perku kaanam 600 persons ne kaana so all tickets sold means 600 tickets were sold how much money was collected from a row first we want to find how much money was collected from a row how many chairs are in a row yes 24 chairs listen here 
द प्राइस ऑफ ए टिकट इज इक्वल टू 20 रुपीस नंबर ऑफ चेयर्स इन ईच रो इज इक्वल टू 24 मनी कलेक्टेड फ्रॉम ए रो हाउ मेनी चेयर्स आर इन ए रो 24 ഒരു റോയിൽ 24 കസേരകളാണ് ഉള്ളത് ഒരാളുടെ ടിക്കറ്റിന് 20 റുപ്പീസ് അപ്പോൾ 24 പേരുടേതിന് ഹൗ ക്യാൻ വി ഫൈൻഡ് യെസ് 24 ഇൻടു 20 ഹൗ ക്യാൻ വി ഫൈൻഡ് 24 ഇൻടു 20 ലിസൺ ഹിയർ 24 ഇൻടു 20 ഫസ്റ്റ് സ്റ്റെപ്പ് 0 ഇൻടു 4 0 ഇൻടു 4 ഈസ് ഈക്വൽ ടു സീറോ വെൻ വി മൾട്ടിപ്ലൈ എനി നമ്പർ വിത്ത് സീറോ ദ ആൻസർ ഈസ് ഓൾവൈസ് സീറോ സീറോ ഇൻറ്റു ടു സീറോ ദ നെക്സ്റ്റ് സ്റ്റെപ്പ് ഈസ് ടു ഇൻറ്റു ഫോർ ടു ഇൻറ്റു ഫോർ എയ്റ്റ് വി റൈറ്റ് എയ്റ്റ് ഹിയർ നെക്സ്റ്റ് സ്റ്റെപ്പ് ഈസ് ടു ഇൻറ്റു ടു ടു ഇൻറ്റു ടു ഫോർ ദെൻ വി ആഡ് സീറോ സീറോ പ്ലസ് എയ്റ്റ് എയ്റ്റ് ഫോർ now we get the answer 480 that means money collected from a row is equal to 480 rupees the last question is how much from 25 rows listen here money collected from a row from one row we get 480 rupees okay then how much from 25 rows from one row 480 ഒരു റോയിൽ നിന്നും ഫോർ ഹൺഡ്രഡ് ആൻഡ് എയ്റ്റി റുപ്പീസ് ദെൻ ഹൗ മച്ച് ഫ്രം ട്വൻറ്റി ഫൈവ് റോസ് ഹൗ ക്യാൻ വി ഫൈൻഡ് മണി കളക്റ്റഡ് ഫ്രം ട്വൻറ്റി ഫൈവ് റോസ് ഈസ് ഈക്വൽ ടു ഫോർ ഹൺഡ്രഡ് ആൻഡ് എയ്റ്റി ഇൻറ്റു ട്വൻറ്റി ഫൈവ് ഹൗ ക്യാൻ വി ഫൈൻഡ് ദ ആൻസർ ഓക്കെ ലെറ്റ് എസ് മൾട്ടിപ്ലൈ ഫോർ ഹൺഡ്രഡ് ആൻഡ് എയ്റ്റി ഇൻറ്റു ട്വൻറ്റി ഫൈവ് ഫസ്റ്റ് സ്റ്റെപ്പ് ഫൈവ് ഇൻറ്റു സീറോ ഫൈവ് ഇൻറ്റു സീറോ സീറോ നെക്സ്റ്റ് സ്റ്റെപ്പ് ഫൈവ് ഇൻറ്റു എയ്റ്റ് ഫൈവ് ഇൻറ്റു എയ്റ്റ് ഫോർട്ടി സീറോ ഹിയർ ആൻഡ് ഫോർ ആസ് റിമൈൻഡർ നെക്സ്റ്റ് സ്റ്റെപ്പ് ഫൈവ് ഇൻറ്റു ഫോർ ഫൈവ് ഇൻറ്റു ഫോർ ട്വൻറ്റി ട്വൻറ്റി പ്ലസ് ഫോർ ട്വൻറ്റി ഫോർ ഓക്കെ നൗ വി മൾട്ടിപ്ലൈ ഫൈവ് വിത്ത് ദീസ് ത്രീ നമ്പേഴ്സ് the next step is we multiply 2 with these three numbers first 2 into 0 2 into 0 0 where we can write that 0 yes here next step is 2 into 8 2 into 8 16 six here and 1 as reminder next step is 2 into 4 2 into 4 8 eight plus 1 9 okay next we are, we add 0 0 4 6 10 0 here and 1 as remainder 2 plus 1 3 3 plus 9 12 so the answer is 12000 rupees okay 12000 money collected from 25 rows is equal to 12000 rupees Okay let us go to the next activity class library Manu school board pocket dictionaries to use in class libraries 444 class 3 and 564 class 4 the price of a dictionary is 25 rupees how much was spent in all my dears can you understand this question yes manu school board pocket dictionaries for class 3 and 4 how much for class 3 yes 44 for class 3 and 56 for class 4 third standard like 44 and now fourth standard like 56 pocket dictionaries um vaangi the price of a dictionary is 25 rupees that means each pocket dictionary cost 25 rupees how much was for the total number of pocket dictionaries ella moonilekum naalilekum vaangiya pocket dictionary ke etra rupa aayi kaanam how can we find that number of dictionaries bought for class 3 is equal to yes 44 now 
number of dictionaries bought for class 4? How much? Yes, 56. So we can write 56 here. Total number of dictionaries for class 3 and class 4. How can we find total? Yes, 44 plus 56. Add these two numbers. What is the answer? Yes. When we add these two numbers, we get the answer 100. That means total number of dictionaries equal to 100. Price of a dictionary. Price of a dictionary is 25 rupees. One dictionary ke 25 rupees. How much was spent in all? That means how much was for these 100 dictionaries? One dictionary cost 25 rupees. Then how much for 100 dictionaries? 25 plus 25 plus 25. 100 times. That means repeat addition. How can we do this? Yes, by multiplication. When for repeat addition, we do multiplication. So the money needed for 100 dictionaries equal to 25 into 100. How can we do this easily? Yes, we learned this in the last class. How? First we write this number and put two zeros on its right side. This is the easiest method for the multiplication by 100. Okay, dears, let us go to the next activity, Independence Day. Look here. This is an Independence Day celebration in a school. We can see the school's headmaster and the students. Okay, listen. What the headmaster said? Okay, listen here. PTA has given tricolor flags to all the 627 children. Did you note what the headmaster said? What the headmaster said? Yes, PTA gave tricolor flags to all the 627 children. The question is, each flag given to children cost 7 rupees. How much did this PTA spend for this? That means, how much money was spent by the PTA for bought tricolor flags? How many tricolor flags they bought? Yes, 627. Each flag cost how much rupees? 7 rupees. Then what is the total price for both these flags? How can we find? Yes, by multiply 627 into 7. 627 flag and PTA vang it. Uri flag in 7 rupees. Then what for the, how can we find the total cost? 627 into 7. Number of tricolor flags is equal to 627. Each of a cost of each flag is equal to 7 rupees. Total cost is equal to 627 into 7. How can we do this? Look here. 627 into 7. First we do 7 into 7. 7 into 7? 49. 9 here and 4 as remind. Next step. 7 into 2. 7 into 2? 14. 14 plus 4? 18. 18. 8 here and 1 as reminder. Next step. 7 into 6. 7 into 6? 42. 42 plus 1? 43. That means the total cost for buying tricolor flags is equal to 4,389 rupees. Okay. Okay, dears, let us go to the next activity. Reading room. Listen here. What the headmaster said? PT has decided to buy six benches and four tables for the reading room. What the headmaster said? PT has decided to buy how many benches? Six benches. How many tables? Four tables. Okay, listen here. The PTA gave a contract to get benches at 1,657 rupees and each and 
table at 2395 rupees each how much money is needed how can we do this how many benches they wanted to bought yes six how many tables yes four what is the cost of one bench 1657 so for six benches how much yes 1657 into six okay listen here number of benches equal to six cost of each bench is equal to 1657 money needed for board six benches equal to 1657 into 6 how can we do this listen here 6 into 7 42 2 here and 4 as remainder 6 into 5 30 30 plus 4 34 4 here and 3 as remainder 6 into 6 36 36 plus 3 39 9 here and 3 as remind 6 into 1 6 6 plus 3 9 this the answer 9942 answer is 9942 rupees okay next is table Number of tables equal to four. Cost of one table two thousand three hundred and ninety five. So money needed for both four tables equal to yes two thousand three hundred and ninety five into four. How can we do this? Listen here. Two thousand three hundred and ninety five into Four, after four into five, twenty zero here and two as remind. Next four into nine, thirty six. Thirty six plus two, thirty eight. Eight here and three as remind. Four into three, twelve. Twelve plus three, fifteen. Five here and one as remind. Four into two, eight. Eight plus one, nine. What is the answer? Nine thousand five hundred and eighty rupees. Okay, money needed for board benches equal to nine thousand nine hundred and forty-eight, forty-two. Money needed for board four tables equal to nine thousand five hundred and eighty rupees. What is the total money needed? Total cost is equal to the cost for bench. That means nine thousand nine hundred and forty-two plus cost for table. That means nine thousand five hundred and eighty. When we add these two numbers, we get the total cost. The next activity is join hands. This is for you. Read this question and find its answer. Okay, dears. do all of these work in your max notebook let us see in the next class